Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to be graphing fractions and decimals on a number line. Here we go. Alright, today we're going to be dealing with fractions and decimals. Now, you should know that with integers, there's positive and negative integers. With fractions and decimals, there's also positive and negatives, right? So, for the first example, we're going to graph each number and its opposite, okay? Every fraction uh, has its opposite, right? A positive fraction would have a negative, uh, the opposite fraction would be negative. A negative decimal, the opposite would be a positive decimal. So, we're going to graph both for the first example. Uh, so pretty simple. I'm going to start just with a number line. Uh, now it's three fourths. Well, I know three fourths is in between zero and one. Uh, if I'm thinking, well, how am I going to graph that? Right, it's in between here. Well, it's in four, so let's break it up into four pieces. So that would be one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, uh, and I'll just I'll label that one fourth. Two fourths, which is a half. Maybe it'd be better if I simplified it. One half, and there's three fourths right there. So when I'm graphing three fourths, I'm going to put a big point right there. Now, the opposite of three fourths would be negative three fourths. So, same thing. That's going to be in between zero and negative one. So, negative one fourth, negative one half and negative three-fourths. So the opposite of three-fourths is negative three-fourths, and I graph that point right there. So there's our first part, the first part of our first example. Let's try part B. Uh, so we're going to graph negative 1.6 and its opposite. Same thing, I'm going to start with a number line. Uh, I know negative 1.6 is in between negative 1 and negative 2. Right? It's farther negative or farther to the left than negative 1, but not quite all the way to negative 2. So uh, I'm going to start with 0. There's negative 1. There's negative 2. There's 1. There's 2. Uh, now I know negative 1.6, negative 1.5 would be exactly in between. Right? That would be negative 1.5. So negative 1.6 is going to be a little bit farther negative, right? So probably about there. And I'm just going to label that above, negative 1.6. The opposite of that would be 1.6, positive 1.6. So again, halfway between 1 and 2 would be 1.5. So it's going to be a little more uh, to the right than 1.5. So I'm going to put that just on the other side there. That's going to be a positive 1.6. Okay, so we graphed uh, each of these numbers and their opposites. Okay, um, notice they're both the same distance away from zero. Right, this is positive 1.6 away. That's also the distance is 1.6 away here. It's just in the negative direction. Same thing here. 3 fourths from 0 to 3 fourths, and from 0 to negative 3 fourths, the distance is also 3 fourths. Okay, here's something to try on your own. Okay, here's example number two. Compare negative 1 half and negative 3 fourths. Now, there's multiple ways to do this. I could make a common denominator and compare them that way, but I'm going to show you how to do it graphing using a number line. So, here is my number line. I know that uh, they're both negative, so I don't really need to worry about graphing too much in the positive direction. So here's 0. I know that both of them are in between 0 and negative 1, so I'll put negative 1 here. Uh, halfway in between is negative 1 half, so that's easy. Now I know negative 3 fourths. To be able to graph that, I need to break this into fourths. So I'm going to put negative one-fourth there, and negative three-fourths there. So now, 
with that set up, it's, it's pretty easy to graph my points. Negative one half is right here, put a big point there. Negative three fourths is right here, put a big point there. Now, hopefully this makes it easy to, to be able to compare the two. I know that as I move left uh, on my number line, the value is decreasing. As I move to the right, I'm increasing in value. So if I look, negative 3 fourths is the farthest left, which means it's the least value, has the least value. Negative 1 half has a greater value than negative 3 fourths, even though they're both negative, right? It still has a greater value than negative 3 fourths. Therefore, negative 1 half is greater than negative 3 fourths. Okay? Uh, let's do another example. All right, here's the second part of example two. Compare negative four and five six and negative four and one six. Same thing, I'm gonna use a number line to help me do that. Make it big. Uh, hopefully when you look at this, you notice that both of these mixed numbers are in between negative four and negative five. Uh, if zero is way up here, negative four would be here going this direction. Uh, values decreasing, so I'm going to put negative 5 way down here. Right in the middle would be negative 4 and 1 half. Uh, but if I'm going to be able to graph these, I want them in 1 6. Uh, so that would be the same as 3 6. So let me see if I put negative 4 and 1 6 there. Negative 4 and 2, 6 there, then that would be negative 4 and 3, 6, which is the same as negative 4 and a half. Uh, then it would be negative 4 and 4, 6, which is 2 thirds, but I didn't simplify that, so I'm not going to simplify this one. And negative 4 and 5, 6 would be there. And then one more 6 would get me to negative 5. Now I can graph. Uh, and plot my points, negative 4 and 5, 6 is right here. Negative 4 and 1, 6 is all the way down here. And again, as I move to the left, the value is decreasing on my number line, which means negative 4 and 5, 6 is less than, right, negative 4 and 1, 6. Okay. And if you wanted, you would be even be able to tell what's the distance in between them, right? 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, right? Which we could simplify to just 2 thirds. Let's try one more example. For our last example, we are comparing two negative decimals. We've already done uh, mixed numbers and fractions. Let's try decimals. Uh, so with this, negative 3.08 and negative 3.8, or if I want to think of it, as negative 3 and 8 hundredths and negative 3 and 8 tenths. If you say it that way, hopefully that will help you realize how we're going to graph this. Um, you should realize that both are going to be between negative 3 and negative 4. So if I'm going to start with my graph, uh, again, negative 3 is going to be here. Remember, 0 is down this direction. Okay, I'm going this way we're getting more and more negative so negative 4 would be here now uh, we've got a couple options if I want to think about how I'm going to graph negative 3 and 8 hundredths do I really want to break uh, my space between negative 3 and negative 4 into hundredths that would mean I'd have to have a hundred little uh, little lines that doesn't sound very nice or if I want to do negative 3 and 8 tenths, I could break this up into tenths, just 10 little lines. That sounds a little bit more reasonable. So uh, I'm going to do that. Halfway, that would be negative 3 and 5 tenths, negative 3.5. So that would be negative 3.1, negative 3.2, negative 3.3, and negative 3.4. I'm just putting some of them above because I don't have a whole lot of space. Uh, negative 3.6, negative 3.7, negative 3.8, and negative 3.9. Okay. Uh, now, let's graph. 
Uh, I'm going to hold off on this one for just one second. Negative 3 and 8 tenths, or negative 3.8, that's easy. That's right here. Now, how about negative 3 and 8 hundredths? Well, notice 8 hundredths, it has 0 tenths, okay? It doesn't even have 1 tenth. So, hopefully you realize that it's between negative 3 and negative 3.1, or negative 3 and 1 tenths. So that, if I broke this section up into hundreds, right, uh, I would just need, basically, you could think of that as eight hundredths. This would be uh, ten hundredths, right? So eight hundredths would be right about there, okay? And in this situation, to be able to compare it, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be real specific. Just as long as you know that negative 3 and 8 hundredths is going to be between negative 3 and negative 1, you're okay. Okay. Um, just notice that right? it doesn't even get to negative 3.1, negative 3 and 1 tenths, because there's 0 in the tenths place here. Okay. So now, again, as we go to the left, the values decrease. So that means... Uh, I'll just go with blue. Negative 3 and 8 hundredths is greater than negative 3 and 8 tenths. Okay, And that seems a bit weird to think about, but if you look at it on the number line, remember, the farther we go left, uh, the less our value becomes. Right? Zero's up there. Okay, When we go to the right, our values are increasing. So that negative 3 uh, and 8 hundredths is actually greater than negative 3 and 8 tenths. Okay? Here are some to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe.